Good morning from Montreal. Jean-Serge Gagnon here. So do you sometimes wonder if something you should be, you know, peddling is right or not, right? Because you heard it from a leader. Well, we'll get into that in a second. But first, this. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. I help you create digital courses so you can live your life on your terms. All right. So I'm not, I'm coming up with this question because today I just saw a post from one of my friends. He's saying, if I hear one more person, you know, peddle me this, this wallet, this Bitcoin wallet that grows on its own, I'm going to lose it. And he's just talking about this. Um, hey, Merlin, thanks for watching. He's talking about this, this Bitcoin wallet that's like supposed to grow your funds for you, right? If you hold your funds in there. But, you know, if, if you know anything about blockchain, about Bitcoins, you know that that's not possible. And you know that basically it means that if you put funds in that wallet, those funds are gone. They're basically in the hands of somebody else and they're just showing you some fictitious, you know, funds growing, whatever in that wallet. And you can confirm that by trying to withdraw the money out of that wallet and bring it to your yourself. And even if you can do that, that doesn't mean they don't have access to your wallet, but you can, uh, you can see whether you can withdraw the additional interest that was grown in it. Chances are you can't, right? But in the end, it doesn't matter. If it seems fishy to you, you should not be getting into it. I know that for me, I was involved in some of the Ponzi's in the past. I'm like super disappointed by that. And I feel awful that I even got involved in those. But, you know, I did. And I learned from the experience of, you know, ba making sure that even if it looks like it's amazing and you're going to be getting some some return on it, it doesn't mean it's a good idea to get involved with it, right? And if you're doing digital courses, digital courses are no different. You can be creating the most outrageous videos for a digital course that are not good for your audience, that are just there to try to weasel some money out of them. You could do that. I just, I'm just saying don't. Don't do that. Be ethical. Be, you know, have integrity. Do stuff that teaches your audience something that's worthy of them listening to you, of them, you know, connecting with you, of them buying your course. Even the free course, if they're going in there and they're watching your free courses, they should be value-driven courses, courses that are worth their time. I mean, they're giving their time. They're watching you and they're taking their time off of they could be doing something else right you got to respect that respect that they're taking time to watch you teach them something that they're interested in and don't you don't think about you know oh my god i'm gonna make some money from selling this course whatever it's it's not worth it it's not worth it in the short term maybe you'll gain something but in the long term you're you'll sully your reputation people won't you look at you seriously they won't see you as serious they, they'll see you as a as a scammer and you don't want that you don't want to be known as a somebody who scams people right so you got to have integrity make sure that you know and when you're looking at opportunities out there for yourself have that same barometer look at it even if there's tons of people promoting it if it's if even top leaders are promoting it it doesn't mean that it's good do your own due diligence go look into the the, the company go look into the background go go f ask people who say it's a scam ask them why they say it's a scam you know because sometimes they they're saying it just because they're trying to get you into their thing right but it if there's people out there well there's going to be people out there saying and anything's a scam anyways right that's always going to happen it's just part of the internet marketing world there's always somebody out there that thinks that something's a scam so you got to not, don't take that as the barometer, right? Talk to them, find out why they say it's a scam, get their feedback, and then you make up your own mind as to whether you think it makes sense or not. But you, you got to do that. Don't just jump in and say, oh, you know, it's, it's going to be okay. I'm going to make some, some income from it. Right. And then later on, you just, you know, don't, right. Because you lose your your money instead, right? Plus, you lose your reputation. You lose your you lose your followers. Followers that maybe looked up to you now they think that the next thing is going to be a scam too, right? So you got to be careful of that. It's super important to make sure that you are, like I said, you're 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 looking at things with integrity. You're teaching things. You're creating courses. So because you could be creating courses on these 
things, right? So say, for example, you get into this wallet thing and you start to see some income in your wallet and you're like, oh my God, this is so exciting. I put in, you know, 500 bucks and now I'm at 550. It's only been a week. Oh my God, that's awesome. And then you can create a course that explains how to find that wallet, how to use the wallet, how to get into the wallet, whatever. But that's not, you know, I mean, if you believe that that is amazing and it's real and maybe there's something out there that's that I might can that I might think is not real and you would you know I'm I'm not going to tell you you can't do that. I'm just saying watch it. Watch what you do and be careful. Be careful out there. Watch what you pedal. Pedaling you can be pedaling anything. Anything out there can be pedaled. You can create courses on anything. You can then you can you know pedal your courses when you know that word pedaling of course has a negative connotation to it right I'm not saying that in a negative way I'm just saying you're promoting something promoting something that isn't legit is still promoting and I'm just using the word pedal because pedaling is kind of seen as the word of you know you're you're trying to sell something that's not legit right well I don't mean that I just mean you're promoting something that's not legit you're promoting something that is legit and when I say legit, I mean legitimate, right? It's legitimate. It's something that's legal. It's something that's 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 got integrity. It's something backed by leaders that you know are are have integrity. That they've been around for a while. You can kind of check their background. That's what I'm talking about. So you got to look for those kinds of things. There's 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 ways to tell whether something has a potential of being you know a Ponzi scheme. If it's something that the leaders you can't find them you, you they haven't been around they're new they're, those are all red flags right so but it doesn't mean that it's not legit if you can't find information about the leaders it just means it's a red flag it means you got to be careful all right so watch what you pedal watch what you promote it's important to be honest with yourself if you feel something just maybe walk away right so Hopefully you're in, you you're gonna do that. And by the way, if you didn't know, I just released Click eCourse to the world. Uh, it's still in beta, but it's available right now. You can go to clickecourse.com. You can actually register for the week. This week you're gonna be able to create an account if you want for a free account. Um, and I'm also gonna be doing that five day challenge on how to create your first digital course, how to create, how to get the skills to create your first digital course. So in five days for free, you're gonna learn the skills you need to create your first digital course. All right, hope to see you on the inside. And if you're interested, just make sure you keep up on my timeline or get on my list and we'll let you know when that's free. Or there's a waiting list or a group that you can get in to just be part of that group. All right, so just comment below if you're interested in that and we'll get you hooked up. Have a great day. We'll talk again soon.